thrill seekers. Here's what you missed last time on Cash Grants. The team showed off the wild sides in an untamed wilderness, where every challenge tested their abilities to work together. And the hunt for cash has revealed some surprising new players. Team Powerhawk soared to the podium, and though Team Z-Force faced a 15-minute penalty in today's craze maze, they were spared from elimination. So all six teams are back to storm the castle in medieval style. Everyone needs to dig deep to slide past the competition. Come on, Matt. And with an elimination looming, it gets a little ugly. Are you into the running? But you know what, Dad? I want to try my hardest. Am I not hot? There's no horsing around. Stop pushing me. Because this time, someone will pay the ultimate price for missing the mark. This sucks. This really sucks. It's about to get crazy on Cash Grace. into navigating through the streets and finding the caches quicker. And yeah, it's just giving us a buttload of confidence. Guys, it's only going to get harder from here. We really need to push ourselves and not and not no longer just give the 100% at least, but 120% next time. But I know you're up for it. If in fact we, we are here, you know, a few episodes later down the line, we gotta be in shape to be able to push it. So this is like training for the for the last episode. And so that that's that's my mentality. In the craze maze, there are four and four challenges. And each time you complete one, a new set of cash locations will be revealed. Nab as many points as you can and get to the finish before the final arm block. The team with the least amount of points will be eliminated. As always, the top two teams in the launch challenge will get a 10-minute head start to the explore challenge which means you get out cashing that much sooner. Let's begin with the princely game of Wild Card Cabali. There is a barrel of goopy talk. Deep down at the bottom of each barrel are playing cards. When I say go, you'll need to dive into your mat and pull out a royal flush. 10, jack, queen, king, and ace of the same suit. The first two teams to show their winning hands get the head start. I think we just, whatever it takes is what we gotta do. Grab the ones on the top. Yeah. I'll dig down and grab the ones at the bottom. Yeah, you look ridiculous. I, yeah. No. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? One second, Dad. You don't, oh my gosh. Today's not gonna be a good day for Sam and I. We're, we're on no different wavelengths right now. She's very irritating. Damn, damn, damn. We're not going down. <laughs> All right, teams. Three, two, Oh, I don't really care about the goop. Let's just get as many cards as we can and get out in the same breath before I drown. Careful, it's slippery when you come out. It's like quicksand. It's what I imagined quicksand would be. Oh. Ew. <laughs> come on, get in there. Okay, I'm going in. The color doesn't help the taste. <laughs> Because both of us have awesome imaginations, and we're just imagining what this is. Yeah. No cards yet! Just a lot of goofy 
guitar on the jeans. Ew! Look at me! Sticking my head into the goop, I just knew the do was over. <laughs> Mayhem already has two cards. Are you kidding me? Make that three cards. Do I hear four? Not yet, I don't. Oh, I feel so nice. Jay went in with his feet, and he was pulling them from the bottom with his feet. We gotta go through these. Team Whack Attack, Grand Slam, and Powerhawks in a super goopy tie with two cards apiece. <laughs> Team Buttercup now has three. Mayhem's down to their last car. Jackets. Wait, Jackets clubs? Is that clubs? Yeah. That's pretty sure. That and there it is! A perfect royal flush. And barely a spot on them, which I don't know how they did that. We worked together trying to grab the cards, but anyways, yeah, we got lucky. We were able to find the right ones. I mean, that's half the battle. It's a race for second. Who's digging deeper in the barrels? Team Buttercup only needs one more. Good, Amy. No. Team Grand Slam is right with them. Team Zed Force only has three, but they're really up to their next guitar. We're not seeing anything. <laughs> <laughs> and Whack Attack whacks the last card in for second place. We love that Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The challenge is complete. Congratulations, guys. It was a sticky situation out there, but you got through it. Ready to nab some caches? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. All right, you'll remember last week, we introduced new game changers to the craze maze. When you nab a cache, you could be the team to unlock the game. That's an extra 10 minutes to nab caches after the final unlock. Woo! Yes. yes. Or you might be the ones to uncover the cache crash. And that's a 10 minute penalty freezing you right on the spot. All right, Team Mayhem, as winners today of our launch challenge, you get to pick which Explore Challenge you're going to first. Will it be Explore Challenge 1, Dragon Slayer Slippy Slide, or Explore Challenge 2, Crazy Flaming Arrows? We're gonna go to Explore Challenge number one. All right, Dragon Slayer Slippy Slide. That means Team Whack Attack, you're going to Explore Challenge number two, Crazy Flaming Arrows. Yep. Perfect. All right, teams. Your time in the craze maze starts now! Let's go. Come on, let's do it. Watch them. It felt kind of good because we haven't been averse on to any challenge. So um, it felt good. My feet ache from the last cash craze. <sighs> I don't think we need to change up our strategy at this point, because we've either finished near the top or in the middle of the pack. So I think we just need to maintain the status quo, keep going, and I think we're going to do well. OK, might as well go around across the streets on the other side. Yep. While the launch challenge winners get a head start with their cash craze crusade, the rest of the teams have 10 minutes to de -dupe. We're going to come with our A game today. We'll let them have that, but we'll win when it matters. Yeah! Launch challenge winners Team Mayhem are the first knights to arrive at their royal challenge. Looks like we're sliding or something. Bowling. Explore challenge one. Dragon Slayer Slippy Slide. Each team member will get three attempts to knock down the nine dragons who guard this slide. And each dragon slain bears a king's ransom of one point. Sam's up first, but her courage is giving her the slip. Go really shallow, so when you're running in, duck your legs and go real, real, and as fast as you can go. Will it hurt my belly? No, but you know what? You know what? Don't hit your chin on the on the, on the ground. Team Mayhem's early lead has hit a wall. Wherever, pick, pick a side. Go. Of dragons. Launch challenge winners, Team Mayhem, are hoping to slay all nine dragons and collect a point for each one. What? Don't hit your chin on the, on the on the ground. But Sam's nerves are rattled by the fiery beast. Real, 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 and as fast as you can go. I really wanted to get it done, and I wanted to show everyone that I can get them down. Well, I only got the first one. So it's up to Sir Brad to rid the kingdom of these crimson-eyed monsters. He's got two more tries. I, I saw her because she got up on her knees. Obviously, I think you have to slide it in your belly on that one. I kind of knew that 
maybe it was gonna be left up to me to get to the end. But he leaves one standing for Sam. I'm not good at that. Go, you gotta get it. Sam did terrific. She knocked that last pin down for us. Perfect. We're done. Let's go. Team Mayhem are the first to see the Dragon Slayer Slippy Slide set of hidden caches. Hopefully they have all of them before taking on their next challenge. Back here. Found it, Dad. That strategy may be finished before it's even begun. I just rolled it again. <laughs> Meanwhile, fellow launch challenge winners Team Whack Attack have arrived at their first Explorer Challenge. We're ready. Explore Challenge 2, Crazy Flaming Arrows! Teams must destroy an enemy's wolf setting their arrows ablaze. They must alternate shots until someone can land a little missile inside the board and spark its demolition. Every time you hear a it means victory and the cash points are revealed. I've done archery once before. I was not good at it, so when I saw that this was an archery challenge, I was really worried. Okay, I just missed a bit right. I've done archery once before. I sucked at it because I was only uh, six or seven. Do it, Max. Make it blow up. Two shots and two misses for Team Whack Attack, and their 10-minute head start is almost over. Lords and ladies who did not reign supreme, in our launch challenge, I have a special decree for thee. Team Zen Force, you were spared from elimination in the last craze maze, but today you must arrive at the finish line 15 minutes before the five alarm alarm. But you're still very much in the game because in the maze today are the two game changers. The extra minutes to ten extra minutes to nab caches after the five alarm alarm. Now Zen Force, I'm guessing you really want that extra craze. Yeah, we really need this. But there's also a cash crash. Stop the team that finds it right in their tracks for 10 minutes. Now, it could happen at any time at random. So you all have a chance to come out on top. Remember, there are four Explorer challenges in our craze maze today, and you must complete three to stay in the game. Lords and ladies in the kingdom craze, your time starts a fourth week. <laughs> I know it's too early for Kings and Force to go home. I know that uh, we can pick things up, but we can get things done fast. True to their word, Team Zen Force takes an early lead over Team Powerhawk on the race to Dragon Slayer Slippy Slide, while Team Grand Slam trails Team Buttercup on the way to Crazy Flaming Arrows, where Team Whack Attack are still trying to blow up the board to see the first set of cash locations. Get it now! Aim was perfect, you just need to be higher. Yeah. And you gotta wait for the thing to light. So, and now you're a little worried because as you're here and you're trying to aim, it's like, oh my goodness, that flame's getting a little close to my fingers, right? Yeah. So. Get in! Oh my goodness! Oh! We just blew up a castle! Those were real flames! They were, they were real flames! flames. They did! It exploded! With that, Team Wack Attack gets the first look at crazy flaming arrows, hidden caches. And can now join Team Mayhem, who are the first to nab a cash. Sam, you gotta go. I am. Okay, let's do it. My ankle hurts a little, and it's gonna be tough to run, but I'm gonna try my hardest and try to catch up to my dad. Team Buttercup hope to be the next team to set the board on fire and start hunting for caches. Fire explosions and arrows it doesn't get much better. First shot, I aim kind of low. And then my brother, he aims like kind of high. That was the glory shot right there. Yeah. Kaboom. That's good. Team Buttercup are the second team to shoot their way to glory and reveal crazy flaming arrows hidden caches. And like Team Mayhem, they hope to nap all 10 before taking on another challenge. You don't think you can get all 10, eh? 10? Did I ever say? No, no, I'm just, just, I'm trying to manage you now because you got hours of running. Although spared from elimination in the last cash craze, Team Zen Force has to finish 15 minutes before the rest of the teams. So they've gunned it from the launch challenge in order to be on the track.
This is definitely all part of the strategy. Come here, at least come second, complete the challenge as fast as we can, then get our cash points revealed. To demolish all those wobbly dragons, it's Team Zephorus needs to squeeze every inch out of their remaining slots. So I ran, and I just thought, aerodynamic slide. Team Zephorus have just one dragon left, and two slides to go. Whether we win it all or not, I need to know that I've done the 100% best I can possibly do. I think Max isn't always able to approach it with that same level of determination, purely because of his, his age and his personality style. Okay, let's go. I think it's just a reality that I'm always gonna be harping on him, and that's life. Oh, that was like, amazing. Come on. Lots of points and more time. One point, okay, one point. That way into the right now. Let's do it. The winners of the last craze maze have finally arrived at Dragon Slayer Slippy Slide, where the first two teams slew every single dragon to claim nine points. When we get to the Slip and Slide Challenge, uh, me and my dad are thinking our strategy, and apparently he had a secret weapon. Yep. Extra weight comes in handy now and then. But Devo, he's playing a blind bullet in this shootout. It's tough, you need momentum. That's what this is all about. Momentum. Grand Slam were the last team to start an Explore Challenge. And now, they've been misfiring for more than 20 minutes. I've done archery once before, but it was just for fun with my cousins. We never had any instructions when we did it. Yep, another miss. Oh! Boy, I don't know whether I didn't pull my arm back far enough, because my arrow only went, like, halfway to the port. Slam can't complete the challenge and pull up the fort, they will be eliminated. Come on. Team Grand Slam are stuck at their first challenge. Those arrows are not hitting their mark. And they'll need to light it up before they can reveal the cash locations. Challenge. Team Mayhem are finding the caching a tough slog, and the pace is taking its toll on Sam's swollen ankle. You coming, Sam? I'm right behind you. I know she's not feeling that great, but um, you know, I'm just I'm I'm pushing her, and I'm not gonna stop. We gotta really give it. Well, you know what, Dad? I'm gonna try my hardest. No, I know, but like, do you want to try to get them all? Because if you do, we gotta really give it. Otherwise. Oh, I'm gonna try my hardest. It's up to you. Team Buttercup have had an easier time. They nabbed most of the caches revealed after their first challenge and are now at Dragon Slayer Slippy Slide. Yeah, go like the other person stayed to the left. Knocking down all nine dragons will both them past Team Mayhem and into top spot. Connor seemed confident. He thought he was just gonna fly through it. He probably traveled about 10 feet. I ended up backing up quite a bit more to get that running start. I think it has a lot to do with weight. We 
finish that one fast. Good but job, dude. Now we gotta go cash. Teams and Force showed great promise at their first challenge, but since heading out to nab caches, they're back to their old wandering ways. We got turned around completely and lost our bearings. If you get frustrated, then I get frustrated. It's okay if I let's not get frustrated. I don't like getting frustrated. Our Achilles heel would be rushing into things. Sometimes we just run past caches and we're just maybe half a block up there, then we realize, oh, it's all the way back here. If they can't get back on track, they will be in serious danger of being eliminated. Team Grand Slam hope to prove that slow and steady wins the race. Somewhere in here. Are we on the dot? Uh, yeah, we're on the dot. They're finally out caching, but they need to make up some serious ground on the rest of the field. So that's two caches, right? Yeah. OK, if we can pick up, like, there's three, the three more. Team Powerhawk have also played it safe today, and they've gone directly to their second challenge of the day. Anytime you get to handle a bow and arrow, and the arrows are on fire, it's great. Come on, Steve right. Oldwood. You gotta use those hot guys. like you're about 10 years old again. <laughs> Team Powerhawk can get back to cashing, while Tate and Ed have arrived to take on the Dragon Slayer Flippy Slide. With all the other teams so far slaying all nine of them, the pressure's on Team Grand Slam to do the same. I have no clue. I have no idea how I'm going to even get to that first pin. For Grandma, I think that she should just focus on one pin to get it, and I think that that'd be good. on their second challenge of the day. And as we're approaching the next challenge, we're saying, let's get it done as quickly yeah. as we can. Stance, nice steady stance. Turn your head over, relax your shoulders, and drop your chest. Aim above, pull back, that cradle on your chin. Uh -huh. Yeah. You can do this. Do it, buddy. Do it. Let's go. Awesome. Never shot an arrow before. I mean, I just grabbed it, I lit it up, and I just shot that arrow. Before it blows up and it's just celebration city. With a new set of caches revealed, Team Zen Force would be wise to steal a page from the Team Power Hawk playbook. Their 360 strategy of finding caches continues to pay off big time. Let's do our 360 from here. I think while on the streets, our strategy of using the 360 degree look around is, is still still a good strategy. Oh, it's over there. I see it. Oh, it's great. Box. All right. Good luck, yeah. One point. One point. Oh, okay, all every right. point counts. Every point counts. Yeah. Right on. Despite Sam's sore ankle, launch challenge winners Team Mayhem have moved quickly through the craze maze and are at their second challenge. When I stepped up to this archery challenge, I was pretty nervous because I didn't know what to expect. But an archery shootout is not exactly what the doctor ordered. No. This, like that. Like how? Like that. But then that. On the outside of it. On the outside of it. Like that. Yeah. It's a good thing this is an eight-time challenge. Dad, Sam, no, you have to hold it like this, baby. Stand here. Sam, you're, you're doing it the wrong way. Oh, boy. I remember going to summer camp when I was a kid and, and got to shoot some bows and arrows, so I loved it. Hi, hi, higher. Go. He shoots. That's a and one. scores. Yes, baby. <laughs> set of caches revealed, Team Mayhem have shot back into contention. Along with Team Whack Attack, they now trail point leaders Team Buttercup and Team Powerhawk, with Team Zen Force and Team Grand Slam sharing the basement. The Team Whack 
Black Attack have yet to complete their second challenge. And they're under pressure to slay every single dragon if they want to stay afloat. It's not that easy. And with seven beasts still standing, they suddenly find themselves in a royal rush. I'm thinking, what the heck? Not good. Team Whack Attack are at the mercy of some stubborn dragons. With just two slides left, they must knock down all seven dragons or they could find themselves facing elimination. So often happens, it's all up to mom. Ah, no. So out of a possible nine points, Team Whack Attack picks up two. That's actually really tough. Meanwhile, current front runners, Team Buttercup, continue to cruise along, nabbing every cash they've revealed from their first two challenges. Take a victory pose, let everyone know who winners are, what they look like. All right, we gotta go back. We're gonna take a private road. My brother seems to think we're doing like amazing, but if it's this easy for us, then it's probably this easy for everyone else. Yeah, we're good. We good. Let's go. Known for leaving everything to the last possible minute, Team Mayhem brings the tradition and will be the first team to take on their third and final challenge. Explore Challenge Three: The Royal Gallery. the camera, right, Kittle? Yeah. Okay. For each photo snap, the teams get one photo. And once they have all three, the Royal Gallery cash locations will be revealed. Go, Dad. I'm, I'm following you, sweetheart. He's not going to give up, and he's always going to just keep on pushing me and pushing me. Doggy, do you care? Let's do it. Excuse me, man. Any of these puppies, like a bunch of them, if you don't mind? Like, we're in a real hurry. We're timeline. Dad, be nice. No, I am. I think that was very nice. Teams and force are also feeling the time crunch. They need to be finished 15 minutes before the other teams. And know that late in the day, every second counts. It's more challenge four. Horse it around. Teams must don a horse costume and take on an equestrian obstacle course. I'm the head. I'm the tail. <laughs> Less than 40. We decide not to go for all the caches, just the ones towards the finish line. And uh, so we head out as fast as we can. This hat makes me aerodynamic when I run. <laughs> team Buttercup have joined Team Mayhem at the Royal Gallery. And they're looking for a photo op with some royal pastry, a would-be king, and a four-legged friend. Excuse me. Can we get a picture with your guys' dog? Sure. Perfect, thank you. Not sure about clown. We ended up choosing like the sketchiest chihuahua. They looked like they wanted to chew my face off. Hey, you. Can we knight you? He doesn't like that. <laughs> Am I not hot? Is that what it is? Like, excuse me, sir. May we please knight you? You are a knight, though. You look, you like, look a like a knight. knight. You once a knight. Strapping in, man. Quite dashing. Connor, knight of. With two out of the three pitchers taken, Team Buttercup have already passed Team Mayhem, who have been patiently waiting for the perfect pooch. Thank you. Team Buttercup take their final bite out of this challenge. Yum, 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 yum. And they are the first to see the Royal Gallery set of hidden caches. You can now use the rest of the time to nab caches on the way to the finish. 
an enviable position Team Whack Attack would love to be in. They left seven points unclaimed at the Dragon Slayer Slippy Slide and are scrambling to make up points cash. My legs feel like they've been chopped off by a chainsaw. This is the most tired I've been so far. We still have another challenge and still have more caching, so we gotta keep going. I gotta blow my nose, keep going! No, just run, Max. Come on, Max, because your nose can wait. So your shins and knees hurt, Devin? Yeah. After a strong start, returning champs, Team Powerhawk, have petered out. Arriving at the final challenge of the day, they're hoping to earn two easy points at horsing around. I've been in a turkey costume, a chicken costume, a uh, ninja costume, pirate costume, skeleton costume, Grim Reaper costume, but never have we ever been in a horse costume. No. Okay. All right. All right. Slowly. Oh. Okay. Stop. Stop pushing me. That horse had a really clumsy bump. Keep crawling. Keep crawling. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm leaning on Devin, and it's terrible. Team Powerhawk failed to get the two points, and now they need to rely on caching to stop their slide down the standings. With one last party pick, Team Mayhem can finally duck out of the Royal Gallery. But Sam is on her last legs and fading fast. We gotta go straight back now. It was really frustrating because I couldn't k catch up to Dad. My legs were just killing me. Sam, the slower we are, we can't. Dad, I'm ready. You gotta keep moving. There are 38 minutes until the final alarm alarm, and two teams have yet to take on their third and final challenge. Team Whack Attack are trying to make up for the seven points they missed on Dragon Slayer Slippy Slide. Max, I need you to run. I'm right here. Well, go faster. While Team Grand Slam's slow and steady strategy has left them little time for horsing around. I'm going to hold your waist. Okay. So then we're, you're going to go one, two, three, jump. One, two. One, two, down. Down? We have learned that um, you have to go fast. But most importantly, when you're working together as a team, it, it's all about communication. Keep going, keep going. We got it, we got it, we got it. So we're walking through the ladder sideways. Keep going down, keep going down. I'm down. And then I kind of feel a tug, and it was Grandma going faster than I was going. Come on, go, 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 go. Go faster, keep going. And then I tried to hurry up and catch up to her. Yeah! <laughs> and they've done it! Revealing their final set of caches. Now they can get trotting towards the finish. 35 minutes is not very 35 long. 35 minutes and there's five caches that we can do. Close by, Team Mayhem are trying to cash their way back into the lead, but there's a mutiny on the good ship Mayhem. Let me do it. Yep, Captain. <laughs> no, you're, you've been the captain this whole time. So, here you go. Okay, don't be sarcastic. Well, you have been. Okay, I want you to be the captain. You're making the calls from now on, but you gotta be the one leading the running. I can't be following Here you. Here you go, Dad. No, no, go. Come on. No, Dad. So come on, Sam. Where are we headed? I, don't know. I really want you to do it, man. Come on, let's not get. Hey, we just had a little moment, me and you. I'm going to say I'm sorry. Right now. Good people say they're sorry when they are sorry. Good people. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I think we can get them all, Sam, if we run. are the last team still at a challenge. Having polished off their king size cake, they still need two more picks before they can leave the Royal Gallery. You gotta go. Yeah. Mom! Yes! Dog! Oh! We could do the dog and we could do the crowning at the same time. Even though we finished the challenge, we know we have to get right out there and start caching. Max, come on, I need you to go fast! Force need to arrive at the finish 15 minutes before the five alarm alarm. They can nap one more cache. Hope it's enough to survive. We're caching, and we realize that uh, we don't have much time left. Let's get back to the finish line. We're getting close. We're getting close. But things are going from bad to worse for Team Whack Attack, who are looking for a shortcut to their next cache. Well, we thought we were gonna be able to get through. Building's lock, locked. So now we gotta find another way. 
There's just 15 minutes before the five alarm alarm, and we're looking for Team Zenfold. We're gonna make it here with maybe 30 seconds to spare. Here they come now. Step on it, Zenfors, you're cutting it close! Fantastic job, Zenfors. Awesome, awesome. You get up on the podium and we're gonna tally up your points. Thanks very much. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. A very exhausted Team Zenforce. We're somewhere, hopefully, in the top uh, three. Top three. Top four. Yeah, at least. Yeah. But we have thought that before. And it hasn't really gone our way. The rest of the teams are in their final 15 minutes, and out there still to be found are the extra crates, which give one team an extra 10 minutes to nap caches. And the cash crash! That'll stop a team in their tracks for 10 minutes. If we have a cash crash now, this is seriously going to hurt our chances. Oh, yeah. Oh, points. My brother is just kind of getting greedy for caches right now. And I don't know. I, I feel like we're going to be late. One point. I'm going to check on this side. You check over here. Do 360. Oh, wait. I see it. Come on, big money, big cash. Let's go. Oh, oh that's terrible. That's, this sucks. This really sucks. Oh wait! I yep. see it! Attempting to nab a cash in the dying moments of the day. Let's put Team Powerhawk in a tailspin. Being forced to sit for 10 minutes will make them late to the finish and facing at least a two-point penalty. Cash crash on a cash that we couldn't find. Sucks. Found it! With the Power Hawks nesting for 10 minutes, the rest of the teams can fly past them. Team Whack Attack are working hard to stay out of the craze days. Two points. Two points. That's right. pretty good. And Team Grand Slam are close by, also looking for a miracle. Here, team. <laughs> that extra 10 minutes is definitely going to get us out of the bottom. It might even put us near the top. Yeah. Come on, I got the adrenaline going now. Let's go. Team Grand Slam has an extra 10 minutes. But for the rest of the teams, the end is near. Team Buttercup on my left here looks like they're definitely going to beat the five alarm alarm. Team Buttercup at a B. Oh, I'm going to get a hug. There we go. We're going to tally up your points, and until then, jump up on the podium. Cool, thanks. Excellent. There it is. That's the five alarm alarm. Everyone else right now, outside of Buttercup, are facing penalties. For every five minutes you're late, you're gonna lose one big point. We gotta get it, we gotta get it. Get it. And now we're, now we're late. We're officially late. I see it, right there. Come on, let's go, right oh, there. Nice. It's gotta be a little. It's just, that was... I think we can hop the fence? Sure. Team Powerhawk can finally head to the finish, but there's no time to detour and nab any more caches on the way. We're, we're losing points for this, and, um, oh man, it really sucks. The clock is ticking. What's up with pointing at? I don't, just move. Move, move, move. I am. Good news is, Team Mayhem, you're the third team to arrive. Bad news is, you're just a little past the five alarm alarm. But way to hustle it up, we're gonna tally up your points. Go, guys. Whack attacks on their way in. Go, Whack Attack! You're the fourth team here. However, the bad news is you just missed the five alarm alarm. At this point, we're only waiting for two teams. Team Grand Slam. Finish line is it's actually pretty close. But we still have three more that we could get. Who have the extra craze and an extra few minutes to cash. And Team Powerhawk, who are facing a two-point penalty at this point. Good job, good job. <laughs> you both are clearly exhausted. Yeah. And here comes Grand Slam. Come on, Grand Slam! Come on! All right. Team Grand Slam, come on in. Come on over, guys. Anne's actually gonna have a seat. <laughs> Tate, how did it go out there? It was great, we did so good. Take your place up on the podium, we're gonna tally all the points. What a crazy finish! With the cash crash and extra craze only popping up in the final few minutes. Those game changers can make or 
break even the strongest teams. We saw some new strategies and some heroic performances out there. But in the end, today's winner with 41 points is Team Buttercup! Come on over! And bask in the glory of the Amazeball! There you are, guys! <laughs> Rock out and congratulations, guys! I'm glad we won, because I, I, I think it'll kind of push Connor to that second win, and now he knows what it takes to win. The giant Amazeball winners. Go, boys. Good job, way to go. Good job, Team Buttercup. I have five years, but my hands are full. Yeah. There we go. Great running. If Sam ran a little harder, we would have been first, and we would have maybe won today. Now that's the difference of, of being at the top, middle, or in the craze days. For the rest of you, someone's going home today. Zen Force, you came into this race with a 15 minute penalty. In the past, that's been a death sentence. But you managed to stay out of the craze days today. We had a 15 minute penalty today, um, and we conquered it. I really believe that uh, we have uh, fine-tuned our game, but we're a force to be reckoned with, so. So the two teams facing elimination are... Team Powerhawks. And Team Whack Attack. Please join me in the dreaded craze days. Power Hawk, what would you say was the most challenging part of your day? Hustling our butts to get back to the finish line because of the cash crash. Max, how do you feel you did out there today? Standing here, I'm guessing not that so good. Knocking down the dragons proved to be a little bit tough. Yeah. Well, guys, the challenges are just as important as the cash nabbing in these games. So the team with the lowest points and leaving us today Whack attack. I just wish that we could have stayed like one more episode. We have been working so hard for so many races, running, doing crazy things, gooey things, scary things. At the end of the day, you just have this burning desire to want to go on. Yeah. Max, it's time to put your cash nabber in the recycling bin. Sorry, guys. Even though there are five teams left, of those five, four of them are going to go through the same thing we're going through right now. And this is part of the game. We don't like to see anybody go up there, especially ourselves. We really want to win. <laughs> we want to win. If they can get eliminated, so can we. So we've really got to step it up. This royal race has proved that one bad move is all it takes to put you at the bottom of the pack. In Every craze maze, guys, you've got to give it your all. The next cash craze is a whole new ball game. Rest up, teams. We'll see you all next time on Cash Craze. Yeah! On the next cash craze, let's get this big city party pop. The final five are heading downtown. Can you get this? No, we're right here. We have to go right here. And find out they're in a whole new game. Today we have to do all four challenges. Under the glare of the bright city lights, every mistake is costly. Monkeys in a tree for it. And only the strongest will survive. Please don't tell me I have to go on this. Get over puke. Come on, Grandma, I thought you were going to run. Join me here and claim the amazeball. This is our turn to win. 